Yo, what's up guys? Blake here bringing you some old school PvP today. I'm really excited. I had a bunch of these videos like just saved up on my computer, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm really I'm really stoked to bring this video for you guys. I had maybe uh, six to ten videos that I already edited in the past right before a uh, turn-based drop that I didn't always drop in and uh, I was just like, okay, I, ha I have to upload, you know, regular normal turn-based PvP now. But you know, I still love the old school PvP and uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically just when there's a first and a second instead of turn-based how it is now. So yeah, I was using my old glass cannon setup you guys already know uh these are not the stats these are the new stats that i've been using but yeah you know i had the the stats before where i was using this deck let me find it real quick this one right here with the shadow bonus you guys know i had that that juicy juicy like 90 something pips with like 12 percent shadow bonus like 7k health you know just shad mania shad central so anyway yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video it's a pretty good one got a got a really cool match for you guys and uh, if you guys want i still have more old school pp videos and i have old streams that i have saved that i can get more um old school pp videos from as well so if you guys would prefer to see that because you know in my opinion sometimes it is a little bit more exciting because you don't know what your opponent's going to do and everything plays out in one round so if you guys want to see more of that just let me know um because i got more probably tomorrow we're going to upload some storm peeve though because uh, i know you guys have really been enjoying that as well uh, i'm still working on my myth i'll show you my myth real quick actually but yeah we're, we're working on him we're getting really good progress he's like ignore the stitch okay ignore the stitch don't hate all right he's level 89 though we just finished as deca uh and i got chrysalis so four more worlds left Chrysalis is basically like the, the the longest one, so after that we'll be chilling. But yeah, I'm excited. I'll be bringing him soon, and uh, it's gonna be dope. So yeah, thank you guys for supporting me and everything. And you know, I'll be streaming again as always, doing some peeve, doing some questing, maybe uh, 1:40 p.m. Pacific Standard Time as always. So I hope to see you guys there or in the next video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Oh, it's my boy, yo! Close the stream immediately. I don't even think he's watching. If you're watching. He said, well, I'm going second. I'm going, I'm going first. I'm going first. Let me go first. Ew. Okay. Unfortunate. But, uh, he doesn't have the heat packed. Okay. He doesn't have the heat packed. So we stand a chance. All right. What am I trying to pull for, for my main deck? Nothing really. More set shields, maybe. But I need to pull for beetle. Nice. Perfect. I'm going to stun block right now. Okay, but this is gonna be a tough game, all right? He's another fire, so unfortunately, you know, same school matchups from second are very difficult. Very, very difficult. Cool, he's not stream sniping, there's no way. He's my homie. If he is, that's mental. So now, oh, oh. No, I didn't mean to get rid of that. My one fire shield. Dude, I did not mean to get rid of that. Big yikes, that is not good. He might beetle me, which is fine. If he does, that's fine. He has a tower shield up. I'm going to beetle him. Now is my turn to beetle. I need to get some traps on him. I want to get some value. Oh, that did meat damage. Dude, I'm glass cannon and that did meat damage. Bro, that beetle just did 100. What is this? Yo, what setup are you using? What setup are you using, bro? Okay. Okay. My beetle did 48 damage, bro. Okay, he definitely set. I don't know if he set for me, but he set for fire. That's unfortunate. You hate to see it. That did me damage though, Haiki. That actually did me damage. I don't even think I have to shield. He might think I'm gonna send or something. I'm just gonna beetle, dude. I, I whatever. If he FFAs me right now, I don't care. He said, huh? He said, huh, dude? <laughs> he said, huh? What's happening? What are you talking about, dude? Uh, my beetles do no damage. Wait, why did that do so much damage now? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I know it was to a tower shield, but why did that do so much? Okay, maybe he's not set for me. Yo, maybe I'm screwed, though. Maybe I'm high-key screwed, though. He's warded 70 resist. Okay, then he didn't snipe for me. Never mind. I just thought that Beetle did way too little damage. Oh, interesting. Okay, interesting. That's fine. Oh, he's stun blocked. Yo, what is this man doing? What is this man doing? I don't know what's going on. What is this game? What is this game, dude? So I could shoot, but if he Beetles me again, I'm actually screwed. I need to pull for the cards that I need as well. He could fire dispel me right now. If he does, though, that's kind of good. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Oh, my, the fatty shields. Uh, what you said, come on out. Uh, I was tripping. I was tripping. Yeah, my bad. My bad. I thought you were setting for me, but you didn't set for me, and I'm stupid. I have double shields. Like, unless he elfs me. If he does elf me, though, he still has traps up. But am I dead? I could afford to strike right now. High key. I think I'm going to strike right now, dude. Oh, is he striking as well? I will strike your strike, dude. I will strike your strike. Yo, he's probably going to dispel me right now. Or he's going to E-free. I don't, if, even if he does dispel me, hold on. Do I have the pips to combo? I think I do. If I pip conserve. Actually, I don't even need to pip conserve. I think I'm chilling. I'm just going to pack the heat. Oh, the another shot. Let me think here. So seven, seven. Let's say he dispelled me. Then I would have eight. Oh, I wouldn't. If he dispels me right now, I'm screwed. 
Or I could shield this round again. Nah, no, that's stupid. I think I just have to full send it, unfortunately. He's going to dispel me. I know he's going to dispel me. There's no way he doesn't dispel me right now, and I'm screwed. Oh, I knew it, bro. I should have just fire sharked. I knew he was going to dispel me, too. Big rip. I 100% shouldn't have done that. I know this man. I, sh I knew he was going to dispel me. Big, unfortunate rip. So now the question is, I have double shields up, though. If I pull for a tower, I'm in a good spot. Can I pull for a tower right now? I'm going to tower shield. He already dispelled me. That's fine. I'm going to tower shield. Oh, he FFA'd me? That's bad. I think I might be dead now. Oh my god, I probably should have mantled him. That's not good. FFA was very good by him, though. FFA was very good by him, but I think I'm fine. Like, that beetle did me damage to me. I know he's in strike, but I have a set shield. I think I'm fine. I think I'm big chillin'. I think I'm big chillin'. No worries, bro. No worries. That was a, that was a prime dispel. That was a prime dispel. I knew he was gonna do it, but... I was like, I'm sending it anyway. So the reason why I shielded now is because I have another shield under this. I have a plan, but I think I'm screwed, okay? So now he's going to e-freak me, thinking I'm going to e-freak him. Can I get an infall pet? Ew, pet did not infall. If my pet infalls, he is double trapped. I'm going to fire giant regardless. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to do it right now. That is actually disgusting. Oh, he fire elfed me? Dude, why did you do that? I'm going to win the game now. Why did you elf me? I think I'm okay now. I'm actually okay now. Um, Because even if he shields, which he's going to shield. He's gonna shoot. I need to pull for strike immediately, dude. This is doing so much damage to my head. Oh, it's not enchanted. That's definitely not enchanted, dude. Look at this gas. Look at this. I packed the heat, okay? I packed the heat. He's gone. Can I get a crit? Please, crit for the sub. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna lose now. I'm gonna lose. This is doing me damage. He's probably like, bro, what just happened to my life? He said, oh, come on, dude. <laughs> I, I did see it coming, but like, I, you know, I had to try and play around it. That's my last round of strike. Please infow. <gasps> Please infow. Pet infowed. Pet infowed. Yo, I might just send the Scorch. I mean, if he's an 80 shield, though, I'm screwed. But there's no way he just takes it off. Maybe he does just take it off. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to go for the Scorch anyway. Because if he, if he does shield, then I'll go for a Mantle. I think that's the move. I could strike right now, though. Dude, now I have to go for some big brain plays. He knows he's dead to a Scorch. Okay, this man is smart. He knows he's dead to a Scorch. So there's no way that he takes the Dispel off. There is no way on earth this man takes the Dispel off. There's no way. There's no way. You know what I'm saying? There's no way. He knows he's dead to a Scorch. So I'm going to be the biggest brain of all time or the biggest idiot. It's all or nothing, dude. I told you, baby. Show me that shield. Show me that shield. Bring that shield out, my guy. Bring that shield out. Let's see it. Let's see that shield. Yo, dude, let's go. I'm hyped right now. I'm full of energy. If you guys can't tell, I'm really hyper right now. That was a beautiful strike. Because now he's screwed. Because if he shields, I mean, it's just over. I'm going to scorch him. You know what I mean? And even if he does shield, I can follow it up. You know what I mean? His best move would be to double shield right now. That would be his best move. But I don't think he's going to do that. Actually, that could be bad. If he double shields right now, my scorch does me damage. Does my brim kill? I don't know. If I'm him, I'm double shielding. That's what I'm doing 100% if I'm him. But he might take it off thinking it might not kill. So I need to send it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scorch. Yeah, he took, he took it off. And the reason why I scorched is because he's dead to a scorch for sure. But imagine, imagine that he did double shield, which would have been a great move uh, to double shield. Then I would have wanted the pips to combo. So that's why I scorched and I didn't FFA. Big brain plays, big brain plays, dude. I have to win this game. I have to win this game, please, dude. Please, I, please, okay? I, I, dude, I, I predicted everything, even though I still sent it, even though I knew he was gonna dispel. Please, okay? Please, crit. Yes! I'm dead. I couldn't pull a single E free. Oh my god. I didn't need the crit either, dude. I didn't need the crit either. Let's go, baby. That was a nice win. Same school matchup from second, and we came through. That's how OP Fire Giant is. My god, no crit necessary. That's why I scorched. It's because I knew that if this man double shielded, which at that point was his best move. Big plays, dude. Big brain plays. GG, bro. That was a massive brain strike, okay? That was a crazy match. He played that very well, but that's exactly from second I was able to predict, you know? And that's why I like this version better than turn-based. Is even though I had every disadvantage going towards me, 
you know, we still prevailed. I hope you guys enjoyed that match. It was really fun against my homie Wolf. Uh, you know what I mean? I miss the old school PP so badly. You know, turn base is pretty cool, and I like how it's more fair in the sense that, you know, you can't just lose games because you, you predict your opponent's best move, but then you lose because they do something else, or, you know, they deck failed or something. But I miss that excitement, you know? The excitement of, like, thinking that you're, you know, like, both players do the same, like, they do their move in the same turn, so you really have to predict what your opponent's gonna do. And I just, I, I like it better personally, um, but I do see the potential that turn base has and i've really been enjoying playing turn base for the most part i think there's a lot of changes that need to be made for turn base to still be okay for example cards like <clears throat> efri need to be nerfed you know weaver the pop boiler cards ice bird um and then just gear balancing in general like there's just a lot of things that need to change for turn base to be uh you know the best way to play the game also it really brought jades back into the game too because in turn base it's like you always go first essentially so as a defensive school when you jade it's very very uh, easy so that's why there's been a huge resurgence of jades as especially at low level. It's pretty frustrating. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that match. I got some more old school gameplay, some more exciting stuff. So I can post that later on. Just let me know if you guys want me to. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, I'm going to be probably posting Legendary Storm Peep tomorrow. Let me know if you guys want something else. I'm working on my myth. You know, I got him really close to getting max level. So yeah, I'm stoked for that. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So thank you guys for the support. And I will see you as always in the next one or during the stream. Peace out, guys.